I have six treasure maps in my inventory and I never really paid attention to them but I decided to today is the day to do the first one. So this one is near the windmill that I found the other day and it looks like the treasure is next to something that looks like a fountain. I'm pretty sure that's a fountain so we need to follow the creek and then go up to the right. So if I just continue on this road, that should lead me directly to the creek. So I'm above the creek now, as it says, it's like above the creek, uh, but I'm not so sure if I'm in the right place because it looked like something went across the creek, but there's so many like tree trunks that went across the tree creek. So I'm just gonna go up here and see if I can actually find this fountain. Maybe it's right along this way. I mean, I would assume that a fountain is next to some civilization of some sort, not just kind of like in the nowhere. There is a house right here, so this looks pretty good. Uh, I don't see a fountain though. Is that a bandit camp or what is this? Oh, it's an herbalist. Okay, wow, a new herbalist that I haven't known before about. Hi there. Is there anything I can do for you? As it happens, there is. Drahamira, a widow from Ledechko, requested my services. But it's a long way on foot. And me with my back in such dreadful pain. I simply can't face the journey. All the way from Ledechko? What, they don't have a herbalist there? They do, but she didn't want a local. She's a rich widow, inherited a butcher shop. You know how folks like to gossip, especially about anyone who's better off than them. Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? Exorcisms? You know, banishing ghosts, smudging, spells. A haunted butcher shop. More than a day's work for me. It's not a task to be undertaken lightly. This is a real ghost. The spirit of a dead man who hasn't found peace. In order to banish him from the world of the living, you'll need to do a few things. Slit a black cock's neck on the poor soul's grave? What a despicable thought! No! Do you know what smudging is? You'll need ten poppies and some flowers from the deceased grave. Once you have all that, bring it to the house that's being haunted. Light it on fire, and the smoke will purge the place of any unwanted spirit. Sounds like fun. I'll help you. It's no game. It's a very serious matter. Drahamira was terrified. And these aren't forces to be meddled with lightly. Fine. Fine. Is there anything else I should know? That's a question for Drahamira. You'll find her in her cottage on the very edge of Ledechko. All right, I'm gonna eat something here and then I'm gonna go continue looking for the treasure. Well, I found some debris and stuff here in the woods, um, but I'm still looking for this fountain. Somebody definitely lived here once. It's like some kind of damaged, oh, oh wow. Yeah, besides that body and all the damaged stuff i haven't really found my fountain yet and i'm it's really dark now and it's really hard to see anything i can only see so far which kind of makes it horror to find it so i decided to come back here to the creek and look for that tree trunk that goes across the creek there's so many tree trunks but they're small ones it has to be a little bit of a bigger trunk I mean, it has to be. It has to be more of a mark. Like, this is a small one. I mean, I've looked up and down those woods. I'm just thinking that I'm missing something here. I just don't want to give up yet. Man, I don't know. I haven't seen anything yet. That looks... Pretty specific here. There's no tree trunk here anywhere. Darn it. I'm almost at the end of this river here. 
soon. Yeah, I may have to give up on this and try during the day. Wow, look at that. Not one sign of our small tree. Oh, what is this? This could be it. Wow. This could be exactly it. Let's check. Yeah, look at this. It's got this root ball on the bottom of it, pointing towards the treasure. Aha! Uh -huh. How could I have missed that before? I don't know. Well, who cares? I think I finally got it, so I should be able to just get straight up here and run into this fountain. Man, I just wished it was like lighter. Man, I have not found anything in the woods. I have searched the meadow here above the woods. I haven't found anything. I spent so much time looking and I can barely see anything. I think I'm just wasting my time here. So sadly, I have to try this again tomorrow. I was really hoping to find it right now, but I have to come back. It is what it is. So here we are again, this time a lot earlier in the day. So let's yeah. see if I can find this tree trunk. Yeah. Here it is, right there. All right, let's look at the map. Okay, yeah, we have to go up to the right. So straight up. Yeah. As straight as possible. Yeah. Hmm. We're almost out of the woods and I can't see a fountain again. No fountain. God, this is like harder than I thought. It seems so simple. Man, I can't believe I can't find this fountain. It's just so frustrating has to be here. Oh my god, there it is! Oh my god, I found it! I can't believe it took me probably like three hours to find this thing. Here it is, in all its glory. Oh my god. So should, the treasure should be over here somewhere. Can't find it. I don't know what it looks like. On the map it says it's to the right of the fountain. This is where I am. I'm trying to find out if I have to dig anywhere here. Man, this is gonna like finding a needle in the haystack. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? A bag? Oh. Okay, but that can't be the treasure though, right? I mean, oh wow, 271 groschen? Recipe for marigold decotion and an up popular. Okay, it's a lot of money, but otherwise it's not really like a treasure treasure. Is that, is that the treasure? I mean, I don't know, it has to be, I guess. I didn't find anything else over here. Yeah, it's definitely saying to the right of it. Hmm. Let's check one more time. It'll be pretty much here. It can't be really any farther, right? Nah, I don't see anything. This is it. This has to be it. All right, I'm leaving. So I'm on the quest now for the herbalist and she wants me to collect 10 poppies which should be pretty easy. Those are pretty much everywhere but I'm sure now that I'm looking for them I can't see any. Hmm. No, those are not poppies. Those are not either. Thankfully they easily yeah. can be seen because they're red. Not orange. Red. Come on. 
Oh, I don't like this gloomy day. Wait a minute, those are poppies, aren't they? They sure look like it. Okay, let's go check it out. Yes, poppy! Okay, that's going to be easy. I need ten, I have five. I need one more. Here we go. I got it. All right, so now I gotta go to Ladechko to see the butcher's wife. Let's uh, check the map real quick. There it is. So I'm in Ladechko and a butcher should be in one of those houses over here. I forgot. Let's go check here real quick. Uh, nobody here. Ooh. Having some yummy dinner. I just love how there is yummy stew almost everywhere you go. You never really get hungry. Oh, where they're sleeping God in the middle you, of the Henry. day. He's even nice to me, even though I kind of broke into the house. You! What the hell are you fooling about? Oh, okay, okay, I thought so. <laughs> They're usually not as friendly when you just walk into the house on a, uninvited. Oh, wait, here's the butcher. Duh. <laughs> here she is. The herbalist Kunhuta sent me. I'm here because of the ghost. You don't look like you know a thing about ghosts. Why didn't she come herself? Why did she send someone so young instead? Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? Kunhuta's back hurts, so she sent me. I don't really understand any of this, but I'll do everything I can. God in heaven. I could have just done it myself. What exactly has been going on? It happens at night. Every night, now an apparition comes to me and I can't get a wink of sleep. I can't take it anymore. Whose ghost is it? His name was Alois and he had a farm not far from Ledechko. A few years ago, his farmhouse burned down with him in it. I've heard that people who die such horrible deaths seldom rest in peace. Why do you think he chose you of all people? How am I supposed to know? Maybe because we're neighbors. We grew up together as children. Mm. I suppose that makes sense. Where is Alois buried? For the exorcism, I'll need flowers from his grave. He's laid to rest in the Sassau Cemetery by the wall. His grave is a bit overgrown with vines. I've been there a few times for a visit. The first day he appeared, I prayed at his grave, but he came again just the same. I know everything I need to know. Then for God's sake, perform the ritual as soon as possible. Well, I'm not really sure if that's going to work because I don't really know what I'm doing. So here we are in Sasao and here's this church. I've been to this church so many times. I even know where the graves are. And I'm just going to have to find that overgrown grave she mentioned. Shouldn't be too difficult. Hmm. Let's start on the right. There's many. I don't really know what she meant by overgrown like this. Oh, that's not it. They're not really overgrown, they just have grass on them. This one looks kind of overgrown. Nope, that's not it either. Hmm. We'll find it. Nope. Nope. She said by the wall. I mean, they're all kind of by the wall, but maybe it's like closer to the wall. Wow, this is overgrown. Oh, I found it. Is it? I found the grave. So now I have to pick flowers from the grave. Yep. We got it. So now I gotta go back to her and see if we can do that ritual. God be with you, Henry. So 
hope she's still around. It's so late. She's probably already in bed. Man. Let's go check. Oh wow, look at all this hanging meat. Which room? Hmm. Okay, so she's not in the living room, so that means she is most likely in bed. Oh, I don't want to lockpick. Yep, there she is. I gotta have to wake her up. I'm back with the incense. Can we begin? Good. Let's go to the cross in the bedroom. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, I feel a bit out of my depth. This is my first time. <laughs> now you tell me. Well, get started. You've got the flowers, so it has to work. <coughs> well, here goes. I command you to leave, impure satanic spirit. What do you mean by that nonsense? Alois was an upstanding Christian. I'm working here. Don't interrupt. In nominate parties et filius et spirits et cetera. Ave Maria, gratia, plenty, dominatrix tecum. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O Lord, may he rest in eternal peace, and may eternal light guide his way. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please, God, I can finally sleep in peace at night. Come by tomorrow to see if it worked. Oh, man. I'm not so optimistic. I don't know why that would work. Unless it's the placebo effect. How the hell do I get out? I forgot. Nope, I'm here. Okay. All right, I'm going to go sleep at the inn and then come back in the morning. Well, it's super early. I hope she's awake. And I really hope she didn't see any ghosts anymore. Well, we'll find out. Man, I'm hungry. Hope she's got some food out. Nope. Hmm, that means she's not really up yet. Ah, it's too early. Gotta go wake her up. There she is. Wakey, wakey. Ah, uh, can't wake her up. Darn it. I could steal stuff out of her trunk, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm trying to be a good person here. So what to do, what to do until she wakes up. I think I'm gonna sit right here and wait. All right, it's now 10 o'clock in the morning, so you should be up. Oh, hi. Who are you? Oh, the shop guard. So, did it work? Is your home free of the ghost? Oh, you're here, are you? You're lucky I didn't have to get you myself. No, it didn't work. The spirit came just the same as before, and I didn't sleep a wink. So you're saying I won't get my reward? You get paid for results, my dear, and I haven't seen any yet. At least now I know that old wives' law doesn't help. Go and see Apothecary Coniash in Ratai. I hear he's familiar with all manner of magic. Have you tried drinking a poppy decoction? I could prepare one for you. Do you honestly think I haven't tried that? Well, I have, and it doesn't work. Fine. I'll go and see the apothecary. Hopefully, we'll come up with something that works. Well, I never really promised. I did my best, but I kind of had a feeling it's not going to work. But let's go see the apothecary in Rate. 
All right, I'm in Rote and I'm gonna go see the alchemist right here. And see if he has what I need. Hi there. Do you know anything about getting rid of wandering souls? The restless dead? I might know a bit about that. It depends who wants to know. I wouldn't want to be accused of heresy. Oh, come now, Konyash. You helped me once before, so I'd like to ask you for something again. Fine. You're right, Henry. I won't lie to you. I'm interested in occult teachings and a bit of alchemy. It's far more than just old wives' tales. I truly believe it's a science. So what exactly do you need? To help a village woman from Ledechko. Her neighbor's ghost has been haunting her. He visits her every night. You don't say. Now this is interesting. Revenant spectral beings, cursed souls from beyond the grave. Yes, exactly. Her house is haunted. To put it vulgarly, my lad, to put it vulgarly. But there are spells that can banish restless souls back to the realm of the beyond. Now that's what I wanted to hear. And do you know the spells? Well, I'd like to learn at least one. But the only book I know that contains them has been classified amongst the Libri Prohibiti. I've no idea what that means. The spell's written in a forbidden book. A book that's in Latin and kept under lock and key in the monastery. It's called Liber de Mortuis, Necronomiconos. Do you need to know any more? Do you want me to steal the book? If you want to get rid of that revenant, you have no other choice. When you bring me that book, we can cast the spell together. Since you don't know Latin. I'll bring the book. You'll find it in the monastery library. But it won't be easy to get in. Truth be told, I don't know of anyone who is able to break in. And out. Without getting into big trouble. I'll try. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not going to be easy. Those monks are pretty uptight. I've tried going into their rooms and they got really upset man it's dark already again yeah. i have to do so much traveling for this one quest that's crazy back and forth and back and forth here we are so i think first of all i'm gonna go and see if i can sleep I'm pretty exhausted from all that traveling. Oh, they have some food out still. Looks pretty good, but I'm kind of full. I probably have to go down there somewhere. I don't like that guard. Well, here I am, sleeping with the sick. Look at all them. I thought by now they should all be healed, but they're still here. They've been here like forever. They never get better. Oh, look at that guy sitting right next to the blob. Ew. All right, here I go. Sleep a few hours. Get up early enough. Oh, let's do four in the morning. Nah, we've got to get up earlier, three. All right, I want to make sure it's still dark when I go and try to steal the books. Oh, there's somebody else sleeping here. Oh, that's brother Nicodemus. Ah, oh, I never saw him without his outfit. Wow, he looks so normal. He looks like a wizard when he has his outfit on. Huh, mm, that looks like something to eat, but I can't. We got some books here. I wish I could just grab one of the books here, but I'm sure that's not it. Sure, those books are on the lock and key somewhere over here with the monks. What is here? Never checked this out. Oh wow, this is a nice little bedroom. And nobody's sleeping here? Are you kidding me? I could have slept here. Oh my god! I gotta remember that for next time. We'll see what's in this trunk. Hopefully nobody's coming into the room right now. What do we have here? Oh, nothing. It's empty. Oh, my God. 
Well, never hurts practicing lock picking. But I definitely have to remember this. This looks like a really nice and private room. I love it. And what do we have over here? Oh, I checked this out before I saw this. There's more beds. I could sleep here too. Nobody's here. Oh, we got another trunk. But uh, I think I'm going to close the door just in case. I need a little bit more privacy when I try to steal something. All right. Wow, another empty trunk. Oh, well. <laughs> now we know that. So I'm going to see if there's any open doors up here. Ooh, this one is open. Oh, private area. Oh, there's people sleeping here. Better be quiet. Is it one of those books here? I mean, that would be easy. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I could draw up stuff here. I don't really want to. Just gonna make sure I'm not missing anything. Ooh. Got a trunk here. Yeah, nothing. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, that door opens up. Awesome. I'm getting farther and farther into the monastery and we have another trunk. Oh my God, so many trunks here. That'll take me forever to open them all up. What is this? Oh, this goes outside. This could be a, a great escape route. Although I don't think I should jump over this wall. I'm probably going to break my legs. Ooh. And the journey continues. Oh, you're trespassing. Ugh. Lots of beds, nobody in them. Yeah, I really don't want to run into anyone right now. Wow, not even in that beautiful bed is anyone. Look at that, looks so cozy. Oh. Nothing here, but this trunk looks important. I gotta take a look inside. Because, you know, maybe that's where the book is. No way. That's all there is? Oh, I'm so disappointed. And the farther I go in here, the more risky it will be for me. So a book here. Not one I can take. Oh, another important trunk. Or an important looking trunk. We gotta look. Gotta look. Key to forbidden books. Oh! Who's there? Uh oh. I got caught. Oh, 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 oh. Hide, 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 hide. Come on. You have no business here if you aren't. Oh, man, he saw me. Darn it. I was too slow. Move, move, move. Oh, man. That so sucks. How did I... How did, how do I get out of here? Wait. Oh, here we go. I really hope he did not see my face and I'm in trouble. But it looks pretty good. I have to try this another time, I guess. Oh well. 